There was a time when it felt like all-American Hollywood dreamboat Chris O'Donnell was everywhere. Having made a name for himself in the 90s in hit movies like Fried Green Tomatoes and Scent of a Woman. Since 2009, the actor has appeared as G. Callen in the CBS drama NCIS Los Angeles, but blockbuster roles appear to be in short supply. So why won't Hollywood cast Chris O'Donnell anymore? Batman and Robin sucked. For many actors, landing a role in a superhero movie is a major career boost, which appeared to be the case when O'Donnell took his first turn as the Caped Crusader sidekick in the bad but bearable Batman Forever. Unfortunately, the film's follow-up, Batman and Robin, was an infamous dud that put the Batman franchise on ice. Stay cool, bad boy. The film put an end to the quartet of films, and Batman's next live-action outing didn't come until Christian Bale's raspy dark detective appeared nearly a decade later. Plans had been in the works for a fifth film that would have centered on Robin, and the solo hero film might have been a career breakthrough for O'Donnell. But Madman and Robin was such a colossal failure that further plans for the series were scrapped. Instead of establishing himself as a box office powerhouse, O'Donnell went down with the ship. He rejected Men in Black. In another weirder timeline, audiences are getting jiggy with Chris O'Donnell instead of Will Smith as the lead in the hugely popular 1997 hit Men in Black. But in our reality, the former Robin said no thank you to a chance at the recurring role. Instead, O'Donnell virtually disappeared in the years following the movie's release, perhaps having left Hollywood in search of a neuralizer to erase his memories of passing on the role of Agent J, who's infinitely cooler than Robin anyhow. Holy corpuscles. His comeback also tanked. Following a couple of years away from the industry, O'Donnell returned to action in movies you've probably never heard of, like Cookie's Fortune, The Bachelor, and Vertical Limit. None of them made much of an impact, and Hollywood executives may have viewed their relative failure as an indication that O'Donnell's commercial appeal was damaged beyond repair by those terrible old bat nipples. The Jump to TV With feature opportunities drying up and a growing family, O'Donnell returned to small arcs on shows like Grey's Anatomy and Two and a Half Men, which kept him out of the spotlight while allowing him to continue working consistently as an actor. O'Donnell finally found a home on the small screen with a starring role as the head crime-fighting orphan on NCIS Los Angeles. So maybe he did get that third shot at Robin after all. Family first. Ultimately, the choice to shy away from mega-fame was O'Donnell's. The actor had been married to his wife, Carolyn Fentress, since 1997, and the couple has five children together. O'Donnell said that he intentionally backed away from fame so he could focus on his role as a father and husband. What's next? O'Donnell's career may not be what it was during the 90s, but that doesn't mean the door is closed. He's proven he has the chops to act in everything from rom-coms to action films, and he's building a loyal fan base among NCIS Los Angeles viewers since 2009. It's something that could translate to box office gold, given the right role. Until then, however, he seems content to earn a steady living while loving the life he's carved out for himself. And we forgive you for Batman and Robin. I hate to disappoint you, but... Rubber lips are immune to your charms. Well... We almost forgive you. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.